Hello all, welcome to this video on microprocessor lab. Today I'll be talking about how to sort numbers in descending order using 8086 trainer kit. This program is very similar to the program we did previously which is about how to sort the numbers in ascending order with slight changes. The registers we will be using here are SI which is pointing to the location in memory where we have stored the numbers BX and CX for counter purpose and AL will be another register we will be using to store the number that is to be compared. Then the instructions we use are DEC for decrementing, INC for incrementing, CMP for comparing, loop for looping to a particular address until the value of CX is not zero and JNZ for performing a jump when the zero flag is not set. Another instruction that we will be using here is called JNB or JAE which is jump when not above or jump when above or equal. Now this is used when there is a comparison and the first operand is greater than or equal to. So if that is the case then the jump is performed. Now these are the inputs given at the memory location starting from 0700 to 0705. The first number is the count of numbers. Second location is used as a demarcation between the count of numbers and the actual value of numbers. We give the numbers to be sorted from the location 0702. And you have seen that these numbers are in ascending order. Now this is the expected output. The output is stored from the location 0702 to 0705. The entire number will be sorted in descending order. Now looking at the logic, since we have four numbers, we are performing three set of comparisons and within these three sets of comparison, we have sub comparisons between them. That is, all these numbers will be compared with each other in each of the iteration. That is why we need two counters which is Bx and Cx. Both will be set to 3. So beginning with the first iteration, Bx is 3 for this entire iteration. Cx is the value that is modified after each comparison. When taking these pair of numbers 12 and 41, since 12 is lesser, we will swap the numbers. Then going for the next set, 12 and 50, again 12 is lesser, so we swap. Then we have 12 and 97, since 12 is lesser, we swap it again. For each of this swapping, value of Cx is decremented accordingly and when it is 0, the loop is repeated and the value of Bx is decremented by 1. Now Bx is 2. Again, Cx is reset to the value 3. Looking for the next set of comparisons, 41 and 50, 41 is lesser, so we swap it. 41 and 97, 41 is lesser again, swapping it. 41 and 12, 41 is greater. No swapping is needed. Now the value of Cx is 0. As per the loop, the value of Bx is decremented to 1 and Cx is reset to 3. Again, performing comparison between each pairs, 50 and 97, 50 is lesser. So these swap the values. Then 50 and 41, 50 is greater. No swapping is needed. 41 and 12, 41 is greater. No swapping is needed. Again, Cx is 0. Then we decrement the value of Bx by 1 again. Now Bx is 0. Since Bx is 0, it means that the sorting is over since the numbers are already sorted. That is 97, 50, 41 and 12. Now looking into the program, the first statement will point the source index register to the location 0700 where we have the count of numbers. This is a 3 byte instruction. Then we copy the value located at the location pointed by SI to the register BX which is the count of numbers. This is a 2 byte instruction. Then we decrement the value of BX register by 1 which is a 1 byte instruction. Then I copy the value at location SI again to CX since we have two counters. This is a 2 byte instruction. Then the value of D CX is decremented by 1. This is a 1 byte instruction. Now 
I'm going to take out the values that are to be compared. It starts from the location 0702. So I point the SI register to that location. Now this is a 3 byte instruction. Then I move the value at location pointed by SI to the register AL. This is a 2 byte instruction. Then incrementing SI, we get the value at the next location, the consecutive location. Then we perform a comparison. This is a 1 byte instruction and this is a 2 byte instruction. So when the comparison happens, if the value at AL is greater than or equal to the value at location pointed by SI, a jump is performed to 0419, just this. It will perform a loop to 040C when CX is not 0. At 040C, we have the step where we are loading the next value to the register AL. Now, if that's not the case, that is, if the value of AL is lesser, we need to exchange the values between the location pointed by SI and AL. So, here we have the step which does that, which is a 2 byte instruction. Then we decrement the value of SI by 1, which is a 1 byte instruction, and move the value at AL to the new location pointed by SI. That is a 2 byte instruction. Now, these steps are done because, for example, in this step, we see that 41 is less than 97. Since we are sorting it in descending order, we need a swapping here. So, as a part of swapping, what happens is AL will get the value 97 and 41 will be at the location pointed by SI. The location pointed by SI is this, that is the previous location of 97. That is where we have stored 41. But in the case of the new location of 97, which was copied to AL, it doesn't have a place in the memory. That is, it is not stored in any of the addresses we mentioned before. Now, to store it in this particular location, which is one less than the current location of SI, we'll decrement SI and point it to the old location of 41, where we'll be copying 97. That is why these steps are performed here. Then we increment the value of SI. So after this is particularly set at the corresponding values, I can move on to the next element. So SI is incremented from this location to this. That is a one byte instruction. Then we are performing the loop to the location of taking the next number here until the value of cx is not 0. When it is 0, then we decrement the value of bx. This is a 2 byte instruction and this is a 1 byte instruction. Then we point si to the first location where we have the counter value. Because we are starting for the next set of iterations after decrementing vx. Now this is a 3 byte instruction. Then we jump to 0406 where we are loading the CX register with its count, count of numbers. So this is done only when the zero flag is not set. Zero flag is set when the value of BX is zero. That is when the sorting gets over. And finally, we halt the program. Now we look into the implementation part here. We will type in the program to the location 0400. The first statement where the source index register is pointed to the starting memory address which is 0700. Then we are moving that value to one of the counters bx which takes care of the whole iterations. Then after decrementing bx, we move the same count to cx also because that is the second counter which will take care of the sub-comparisons inside each main comparison. That is also decremented by 1. Then we point si to 0702 where we have the numbers in consecutive memory locations which are to be sorted. 
and I load that particular value to a register AL. That is the value at 0702. Then I increment SI to access the next value. And instead of storing it in a register, I am actually referring to the value at that particular location and performing a comparison with AL. Now, if the value at AL is greater, a JNB or a JAE, that is a jump to 0419 is performed. Otherwise, if the value of AL is lesser, then we exchange the value of AL and the location pointed by SI. Then we decrement the value of SI by 1, which is to a reason I explained before. Since the value at AL doesn't have a memory location after the exchange, we are decrementing SI, storing it to that new location of SI, and then we increment SI again, bringing it to the original position at which it was before. Then we loop to 040C and decrement VX. After that, we will move the SI pointer again to the location 0700 where we have the count of numbers. And we perform a jump to 0406 where it is, that is the count value is loaded to the CX register. And we finally halt the program. Now we will see how these values are entered into the memory location 0700, 04 and 00. Then the numbers to be sorted, 12, 41, 50 and 97. Then pressing on G and enter to the location of the program which is at 0400, executing it, resetting it. Now checking for the new values at the location 0702, we will see the numbers are sorted. 97, 50, 41 and 12. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.